Welcome to the 2014 Tour de Palm Springs. Alright everybody, cowboy There's a lot to love about the Tour de Palm Springs. Perhaps one of the best things about this ride is the almost guaranteed beautiful desert sunrise. And with an early morning 7 a.m. start, the 100 mile riders are on their way. Although the 100 mile route has 3,300 feet of climbing, it's essentially a flat route. Almost all of the climbing is in the first 16 miles, beginning with the false flat as you're heading out of town and ending about 1,500 feet higher at the 16 mile point. And it's in this first 16 miles that if it's windy, you'll have some fierce headwinds and crosswinds. The winds were pretty bad for the 2014 ride, but not nearly as bad as the infamous 2010 windstorm. And at mile 16, you'll begin the thrilling 35 mile, 1100 foot descent, often wind aided, into Coachella. The first part of this descent is a fast 4 mile, 440 foot drop on North Indian Canyon Drive. With the first two miles the steepest with grades of minus 4% or so. One thing, please do yourself and all the other riders a favor and stop at traffic lights. Just after the Indian Canyon descent, you'll encounter the first rest stop at mile 22, the Two Bunch Palms Elementary School. Right after the first rest stop, you'll encounter a bit of a climb. It's not bad though, about 340 feet over nearly two miles. After the climb, you resume your ascent back to Coachella, but it's not all downhill. For the next 20 miles, you'll have a set of four really long rollers, each with long gradual ascents followed by shallow but fast descents. The residents of Sam's always seem to find an excuse for a party. Be extremely careful on this sled ride down the Coachella as there's often an extreme disparity between rider speed. Slower riders owe it to the others to stay on the ride as much as possible. That doesn't mean hugging the fog line, however. Faster riders, especially those in pace lines, owe it to the other riders to make darn sure they pass with care. It is here at Thousand Palms Canyon Road that the 52 mile riders peel off. If you need to bail, this is the place to do it. The rest of us will carry on on the descent to Coachella. At about mile 42, the rollers are gone and it's a fast, decreasing descent all the way into Coachella. Just before lunch, you'll encounter a mile or so of really bad roads that'll make the Paré Roubaix seems smooth as a baby's butt. Fortunately, it's a short stretch and hopefully it'll be repaired by the 2015 ride. And finally, at mile 52, it's lunchtime. Let's face it. The last half of the ride is not nearly as exciting as the first half. The climbs are gone and so are the high speed descents. But it's not all bad. The first 20 post lunch miles are actually quite beautiful as you pass through wonderful desert views and some palm plantations. 
One thing that I cannot emphasize enough is that the last half of the ride has virtually no traffic control unlike the first half of the ride. That means you must be extremely vigilant at stop signs and other traffic control devices because at this point you're pretty much on your own. With about 31 miles to go, you'll begin a seemingly endless trek north and west. From here on out, it's golf country and suburbia. And it'll stay that way all the way to the finish. One characteristic of these last 30 miles is the ever-growing pace lines, some of which can be pretty fast. There's always a temptation to join these pace lines as they can pull you along and make your life much easier. But beware, as these pace lines can be crash factories, an interesting mixture of very tired riders who are not familiar with each other riding at close quarters at speed. So use caution. Finally, with about 20 miles left to go, there is the penultimate rest stop. For many riders, it's the last rest stop as Many riders choose to skip the final rest stop with 10 miles to go. Finally, with about five miles to go, you cross the bridge over the Whitewater River. After that, it's a short trek through town and then you're home. At the finish line you'll find cheerleaders, bands and crowds welcoming you home. A quick stop to pick up your t-shirt and you are done. Thanks for watching.